Alright, this is Isaiah 13 and 11. It says, I will, and I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. God, so the Lord is going to cease pride, man. He's going to cease all that, man. All right, he's going to punish Esau, all right? And he's going to punish two-thirds of our people, man, all right? They want to be prideful and be of their father the devil, man. They want to be like Esau's devils, man. All right, so he's going to destroy all that, man. Keep going. Come on, he says, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So come on, so y'all about to know what Shah says that he's, he's going to uh, do away with, with proudness, all right? He says he said proudness is an abomination to him. So with my people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they they full of pride, you know, and it, and it, it needs to be seen. It needs, it needs to be brought back down to being a, a being a humble, a humble servant, all right? Instead of being a servant, being a, a, a proud servant to Esau. All right. Take it that power too, Arthur. This is uh, Sirach chapter 16, verse 6. Uh, this is in the congregation of the ungodly, shall a fire be kindled. And in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire. So in the nation, in, um, in the congregation of the ungodly, a fire is going to be kindled, and that fire is destruction. And a rebellious nation, which two thirds of our people are, wrath will be set on fire, which is i.e. destruction, punishment. The heavenly Father, He's called the heavenly Father for a reason. We are set up on this earth to do certain things and live a certain way. So if we are disobedient, that father will chastise and punish that child to put that child back in order. Huh. So that, that, that fire is what's going to purify two-thirds of our people. And they're going to come through because all Israel is going to be saved, but the elect is going to be the ones that's going to be saved from this upcoming destruction. All right? But the, the two-thirds of our people, they're going to be purified by that fire. Now, the elect, they're being purified by that spiritual fire, man. We want to go ahead and go through that spiritual fire and go through that physical fire, man. All right? Enough. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the thing that is done in his body according to what he has done, whether it be good or bad. God, and that go back to what I said about earlier, man. All right, everything that you do in your body, uh, in, in this flesh, in this, in, in this age, all right, it's a judgment wait going to be uh, um, um, for, for that, with all that you have done. All right, and the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. All right, but most of our people think the commandments are done away with, man. All right, but they're not. But you're supposed to keep them to the best of your ability, man. So, therefore, the ones that, that's not doing what the Lord commanded them to do or seek his face, man, all right, the, you will you will be, uh, it's a punishment for that, fire and brimstone. But the ones that keep them, all right, which is going to be the hopeful elect and the remnant, all right, to the best of their ability, they have faith on on, on the son of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to be saved, man. All right? We'll get additional, basically, what you just said. Come on. All right, this is the book of 1 John, chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keep him not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you say that you love Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, and you are a God-fearing person, you know what I'm saying, and, and you do not consider his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your abilities, man, you, you, you are a liar, and the truth is not in you. You know what I'm saying, you of your father the devil, the so-called white man, you know, the so-called white race. That's what they into, man. Lying, stealing, and killing, and pillaging, man. And that's that's what you about, spiritually or physically. Okay. Isaiah chapter eight, verse twenty. Huh. It says, "To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them." Huh. So not only if if, if 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 they say they know the Lord, but they don't, the truth is not in them. But next thing you know, if they not speaking according to the law and to the testimony, it's no light in them, man. So this is how we measure them according to this word, man. This is how we try them, man. All right. This is how we try them. We measure them, man. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter two verse five. And they, whether they will slug you, and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. Come, man, and, and, and that rebellious house is talking about these people that's on the sun, man. All right, two thirds of our people they rebellious, man. They don't want to accept the truth, man. But then, you know. The ones that they despised, the ones that they didn't hear or didn't want to listen, 
all right? The ones that they scoff against, all right? They're going to see it in the end that those souls, them same men that they scoff, they scoff, they mock, they despise, was telling them the truth. And it's going to be too late, man. And they're going to get caught up in this upcoming destruction, man. All right? The ones that despise that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, two-thirds of our people, they're going to accept that chip, man. All right? Most of them are going to be thrown in, 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 in the FEMA camps, man. Or be destroyed by famine or by the sword, man. All right? So, so, so that's why, that's why, when the Lord, when, when the Lord, when you can seek the Lord in the midst of this still in this grace period, you need to seek Him now, man. Or else you're gonna get caught up in that destruction. All right. But I had, a, I had a quick precept. All right. This is uh, Zephaniah chapter two, and I'm gonna start at verse three. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all ye meek of the earth. Alright, because according to Matthew chapter 5, it says, The meek shall inherit the earth. It says, Which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. Alright, so if you seek the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, his meekness and his righteousness, all right, and you call upon the name of Yahweh Shai, all right, not, not Jesus, not Hell Zeus, but turn back to the truth and seek him, you will be hid in the day of, of the Lord's anger, in the day of his vengeance, man, all right, and that's coming out of the scriptures, man, because all the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai are faithful and true, man, just how these plagues and just how this RFID chip is going to be uh, uh, pushed on the whole world, all right, that's going to come to pass, man. So just how the Lord is going to save this remnant and destroy the ungodly, that's going to come to pass, man. All right? So this is not a game. This is not a joke, man. All right? This is serious business, man. All right? Next priest up. Bring it up. All right. This is St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37. Look at verse 36. Come. It says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my so, Father only. Slice, slice, slice. Keep going. Slice. It says, but as the days of Noah, of Noah were, were so shall also the coming of, of the Son of Man be. Slice. Is, is there more of that? Slice. Yes, come. It says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. All right, and just how uh, they're going to be in this same present time, how they was in the day of Noah, they was not listening to, to Noah because he was out there prophesying 120 years, and they were despising him. And when soon Noah entered into the ark, it flooded, it flooded everything and destroyed the, the world the first time. So in this same present time, that's how it's going to be in, in, in the time of, uh, of Yahweh's shot, when he come back. The ones that, that didn't want to take heed of the trumpet that's being blown, they're going to be eating, giving in marriage, and they're going to get caught up in that fire, man. All right, by the nuclear missiles, two million missiles, according to the Bible, it's going to get shot off over here, over here to America and burn up the elements, including people. All right? But the ones that want to uh, take heed of the men of the Lord, all right, they're going to get caught up in that, man. So that's why the Lord said constantly watch, man. Blesses that serpent that he, he, and when he come back, found so doing, man. Servant, so lucky. Come on, man. So that's why we constantly doing these videos. That's why we constantly come out here on the highways and byways to teach this word, man. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? That so-called black man, all right, that's sitting on the, on the throne by, by Yahweh, man, which is his name is Yahweh Shai. All right? Who the world even called Jesus Christ? Bring it out. All right. Verse 39. It says, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So there it go again, man. All right, that's when it's going to be too late. Then you're going to understand that a prophet been among you. But real soon, it's going to be a family of the word, man. All right? Let me bring it out. It's a quick precept. This is uh, Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 25. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, is good unto them that wait for him. All right, so the Lord is good unto them that wait for him, man. All right, and the, 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 the saints, who are the saints, the children of Israel. All right, the saints, the, the ones that's waiting upon Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah to come get us from the upcut, this, out of this captivity, man. All right, and bring down our oppressors, man. All right, because according to the scriptures, the ones that led the children of Israel in the captivity, they're going to go into captivity. Who did that? All right, let me bring it up. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. All right, and we all have ears. 
All right. That's that show that that require you to listen more than to talk. Keep going. Con, because you have two ears and one mouth, man. Con. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, if you have two ears, you should do a lot of more listening than you do talking. Con. Because you only have one mouth, man. All right. Verse 10. He that little bit to captivity shall go into captivity. Con, so this nation of people, all right, which is known as the wicked in the Bible, which are the biblical Edomites, all right, because when you go into the word Caucasian, it means cave dwelling. All right, they used to dwell in Seir and Petra. All right, these people had led our, uh, their nation of people, according to history and secular history, all right, had our people in the captivity and still got our people in the captivity. They going to go into captivity when the Lord comes back. All right, they women going to be our bad witches, man. And they men going to be our servants, man. And also these other heathen nations. All right, the Chinese, the diehead Indians, the real Africans. All right, this is what the Lord said. Keep going. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. All right, and this is the same Bible, the King James Bible, that they put their hand on and swear upon in the, in the, in, in, in the court systems. All right, they say, God, we trust. So, all right, this is what the Lord said, man. All right, keep going. Here is the patience in the faith of the saints. In the faith of the saints, man. And like the brother just read that, that, that preacher, you bring that out one more time, Babaka Shah. All right, he that wait upon the Lord, all right, and these are the saints that's from the Son, man. All right, and the men of the Lord, we waiting that the we waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to bring our presence down and the reward his, and the reward they elect, man. Give them a crown, all right, and they exalt Israel. Bring it up. All right, this is Isaiah 51 and 22. Huh. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the Lord thy power that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dredges of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Huh, and we ain't gonna drink of that cup of slavery. All right, no more, man. All right, the Lord's not gonna leave our people, uh, lead, lead our people into captivity anymore. But the cup is gonna be turned on to these people. All right, the nation of Edom. All right. All right. All right. It says. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. All right, and whoever afflicted our people, it still is. This nation of people, man. So the Lord said he's going to put that cup of slavery upon the nation of Edom, man. And these heathens, man. All right. Bring it up. Now I'm going to come back that way. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 12. Come. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, which have these, assuredly drunk it. Which is this, these people, which is that cup with slavery, because why we have brought the laws, commandments, and statutes of our Heavenly Father, which there were 613 laws that was given unto our people. And one of the curses, when you go into Deuteronomy chapter 28, was that we was going to be uh, led into captivity, going to bondage again under our enemies, man. All right, who is our main enemy? Esau, so-called white man, the devil, man. All right, keep going. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? All right, so these people is not going to go unpunished, man. All right, because they're not going to go unpunished. Keep going. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. All right, so they're going to surely drink of the cup of slavery, man. All right, our oppressors, man. And not only just the so-called white men, the other heathen nations, man. All right, because they came together. They made a tumult against the Lord's people to put them in slavery, man. All right? So the ones that's waiting on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh we waiting on that reward, man. All right? To the, the, the bring our oppressors low beneath our feet, all right? And to raise up Yahshua Allah, man. And that Yahweh Shah be exalted. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh be exalted and be praised throughout the earth. All right? Because the so-called white man is the devil, man. All right? And they got to be taken out of the way like the Lord said, man. And the Lord is going to bring a judgment upon them. Huh. What about the limitations? Huh. And this is the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 25. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Huh? So the, the Lord is good unto them, all right? That wake up, uh, wait upon them and seek him, man. All right? And that's beautiful, man. And how you seek the Lord first? By reading these scriptures, man. Right? And the scripture says, seek ye out of the book and read. Somebody get uh, right to Babaka Shah. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. All right, Babaka Shah. That's how you seek the, you seek the face of the Lord, man. That's how you don't make terror to the Lord, by seeking his faith, by diving these scriptures, Isaiah, man. 34, 16. Where we get it first? Isaiah 34, 16. Come. It says, seek ye out the book of the Lord. Keep going. No one of these shall fail, none shall want 
to her name. For my mouth, it have, it have commanded, and his spirit, it have gathered them. Come, so the, his spirit have gathered us, man. All right, his mouth has committed, man. We ain't gonna want no other book but the, only the words of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and none of these prophecies are going to fail. So it was prophesied for the elect to wake up in these times and be saved. All right, and it's prophesied that the so-called white man, which is the biblical Edomites, all right, is going to be uh, 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 taken down. All right? So none of these prophecies are going to fail, man. All right? Now we had a free throw. Bring it out. All right, this is Nahum chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord is slow to anger. Let's lock it. Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. All right, so the wicked, all right, is not going to go unpunished, man. All right, and the Lord is long suffering, man. All right, and who is the wicked? The nation of Edom, which are the so called Caucasians, are the biblical Edomites, man. Keep going. All right, it says. Yahweh has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry and dry up all the rivers. Bashan languishes and kept Carmel and the floor of Lebanon languishes. Son, man. So the Lord, the Lord is beautiful, man. All right, that he's slow, he's slow to wrath, he's no suffering. All right, and that he's not going to let the wicked go unpunished, man. And, not, so like, like, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and he say he rebuked the sea. So what does the scripture say? Why do the heathen raise and the people make a tumult? So you got a people, you got a, you got people. You're going to find out the whole world is against you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? But just like how Yahweh Shai stood up on the boat when they thought they were going to perish, and he rebuked the waves, man. That's how he's going to do the sea of people that, that rise up, that try to rise up against them in the war of Armageddon, man. He said he's going to dry up the rivers. You know? Come on. All right. Next scripture. Go back. Thank you, Allah. Okay, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, and hey, that's doing the good work, man, coming out here on the highways and byways, all right, as a man of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, and, and prophesying to the wind, all right, letting these, uh, these heathen nations, and uh, mainly the so called white man, all right, Esau. Know that, know that judgment, and, and to give our chance, uh, our people a chance at repentance, man. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, as well as the confusion of faces that line up with those tribes, all right? Because we don't have some of our people that look like the other nations, all right? God, 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 the brother is right, man. All right, it's going to be a confusion of face, all right? Because it's not all about color, but we're trying them with the word, man, all right? But when, when it comes to color and depiction of the Lord, that does matter, man. And he was a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. But 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 here it's going to it's, it's here in 2019, all right. They still trying to portray this this false image of Cesare Borgia, man. All right. This is Acts chapter 12 verse 21. And upon a set day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, it is, a, it is the voice of a God, and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not Yahweh the glory, and he was eaten of worms, and gave up the ghost. But the word of Yahweh grew and multiplied. Uh, man. Uh, the point I wanted to bring out was, and immediately the the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not Yahweh the glory and was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. But the word of Yahweh grew and multiplied. So whether you hear forbear and you exalt yourself out there, saying that you yourself as a god and uh, dressing in all type of uh, uh, decorative costumes, really. And then you proclaim yourself to be a power here on earth. The Most High Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai, He's gonna smite you down. All right, we're real quickly. But these uh, these Edomites and these heathens, they're gonna have a slow death. They're gonna see the kingdom that they've worked so hard to establish that they think is gonna last forever and forever. They're gonna see it be cast down by the people that they think that they thought was nothing. Are right, they gonna see that their money fail, their their uh, their their idols fail? They're gonna see their philosophies fail. They're gonna see all. They're gonna see everything that they've worked so hard 
and, and, and so wickedly to build, they're going to see all that fall. It's going to be a slow, slow, painful death, and then they're going to be put into slavery after. All right, Malachi chapter, chapter 1, I'm going to start at verse, verse 3. It says, and I hate, so like, I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, wherefore, Edom say, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Oh. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, host, they shall build, but I will throw down. It says, and they shall call them the borderless of wickedness, and people against whom the Lord have indignation. Google it. Indignation forever. So everything that Edom have built up in this society, all right, which is the nation of Edom, all right, uh, the nation of Edom, according to the Bible, are the so-called Caucasian race, man. All right, their forefather is Esau. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, our forefather come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, and the father's true name is Yahweh, and the son's true name is Yahweh, not Jesus or Jehovah, because the letter J didn't exist to the near 1600s, man. All right, so the father's name and the son's name go back to the Paleo Hebrew, which is the Lashon Kodash, man. Those are the names that we're supposed to be calling upon. If you not call upon them names in the day of destruction, in the day of judgment, you will be destroyed. That's of the Lord. Huh. All right? But everything that Edom have built up, the Lord is going to throw down. Like, back up to what the brother was saying. You got it. All right. This is Psalm 49 and 11. Their inward thoughts is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. All right? So this nation of people, Edom, the so-called white race, all right, everything that they have conquered in history, they name after them. Like America, all right? America come from a man named America Vespucci, all right? Who else? Uh, 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 Scipio Africanus, all right? The, the, that that, plant, that, that, that uh, place over there uh, in Africa is named after a man named, um, uh, man named uh, Scipio Africanus, man. So these people, all right, when they conquer their land, they name the land after them. And they fit that prophecy in the scriptures, man. And that's Edom. All right, the so-called white race, man. And they think that this society is going to go on forever. They think that their kingdom, their age is going to go on forever. According to scriptures, it says Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 48, no, 49, verse 11. Their inward thoughts is that their house shall continue forever. God, that's the spirit. And the brother just brought it out, but the spirit having them bring it out one more time, man. Keep going. In their dwelling places to all generations, they called their lands after their own names. Huh. So they called their lands after their own names, man. All right? But the Lord said he's going to tear down and throw down everything that they built, man. All right? They satellites. All right? Because uh, 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 just yesterday they just... Uh, uh, um, just uh, had a rocket, um, they shoot up a rocket to be able to, um, um, rough the paraphrase from NASA to, uh, to be able to control their drones, and most importantly, the missiles, all right? Everything that Esau have built up, the Lord is going to tear down, man, all right? And that shows his power, man, how that, how strong and, 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 and powerful that he is, man. And, and, and what, what's the one major thing that, besides the, um, the military might, and the power behind the destruction of these nuclear missiles, what's another thing that Esau's taking pride in? And it's lifting his head up. AI, artificial intelligence. All right, that, that, that what is that, avant-garde missile? All right, yeah, that's, that's, it actually works on its own through um, artificial intelligence, right? So that, that particular missile can't be stopped. And this is what they put their pride on. They put their pride behind the things that they craft with their hands. But the Most High gave them the spirit to be able to craft some things together. Like you said, I created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire. 